At this juncture, you have designed your slides. You've added the elements that you want, the videos that you want. You've added animations. You have added voiceover to the slides that you want voiceovers on, and you've added some kind of soundtrack or music to play throughout the deck. You are almost done. The last thing that you really need to do is to go through and add transitions and then just adjust everything to make sure that it flows the way that you want it to flow. So what you're going to do to add transition is go to this. If you are, say, let's say in the home slide, come over here to transitions. And on the first slide, you will have no transition because you want it to play immediately from there in the video. If you were to add a transition, when it records the video, it'll actually do something like fade in. So you might want to in some cases, but I would just say leave none in most of them. Go to the next slide and then you say, okay, what's a good transition between sort of this item and this one? Well, because I have a video asset, usually I don't add much of a transition, but you could. So I have none there for this one. That was my preference on that one. If I go down to this one, now I have push because I'm thinking, okay, from this one coming up to the video, it will be fun to kind of watch that transition into a person and it'll capture the attention. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Super fast. If I wanted to slow it down, I could. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. All right, so you get a little bit more of an effect there. I might have to play with it. Probably what happened is I did have a slower transition, but when I started playing with the timing, I thought, well, that's really getting in the way of things, so I'm just going to remove that. Um, it does create still a little bit of an effect of a transition, but not too slow. Go on to this one. I remember that I didn't have the audio on, so if I were to play that through, that would not show up. Yeah, so as I'm playing through, I'd like, oh, that needs the audio. So I'd come and I'd correct that issue. So we know that this needs to have audio on it. And I just keep working my way through. You could see that I have selected zoom here because usually when you move from a video into something else, kind of a zoom in really quick effect is good. Let's see if I added any sort of timing. I did a, a duration of 0.25. Okay, keep going down. I did a cut here. Let's kind of see what that looks like. Very quick, but it works because it's like 0.10. I did a push, again, from a video or into a video. Pushes are usually nice. Another push. Another push. I did a zoom from the money into this guy. Again, from a video into a person, usually zoom effect works pretty well as well. Move down here. I did fade. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, it just kind of creates a nice little a fade effect. Into this one, I did push. Let's look at what that looks like. Sorry, I did push here. Let's look what that looks like. Boom. Nice. And push and fade. So again, you're going to go through and you just kind of make adjustments on the duration. How long do you want the effect to last? So again, let's say that I want to push from this video into this one. It currently looks like this. Okay, and again, I can adjust the timing up here. If I wanted to, I could make this super slow. Let's go to like 5.05. Actually, it's probably too long because it's longer than the slide itself. Take out a preview, and you can just see how slow that effect is. So, And you can really add any effect that you want. It's super easy. So there is that. So then what I do is I go up here. I click on Slideshow. Dr. Craig Engstrom here, and today's talent development word is behaviorism. According to the Association for Talent Development's Book of Knowledge, behaviorism is a learning theory focused on observable and measurable behavior. It is usually associated with psychologists via... I'm not going to show you the entire deck, but what I would normally do then is you would see that maybe there was a little bit of a glitch here. I might adjust that. I don't need it to be 100% perfect because once I record this as a video, it gets rid of some of that. Also, the music will sort of make it seem more seamless when uh, people are watching it. Okay, so I will have a link to the video that I actually produced from this, and you can go check that out and see what I'm talking about. But what you will need to do is just kind of make sure that if something seems off, like timing or otherwise, you kind of adjust and just make these little nuanced adjustments until you get all the way down to the end and you've played it all the way through. Once you've done that, you're done. What you're going to do now 
Let's go to File, Export, Create a Video. Now, if you have items that have nothing on them in terms of voiceover or narration, you could leave this or set a timeline that you want, like three seconds, four seconds, 10 seconds, whatever you want. If you have narration on all of them or some kind of music, it does not matter. And I'm talking about specifically to the slides. So the one that's playing over all slides does not count here. But you know, again, if you just have some text and you're just gonna have the music playing and you want people to read, then you might want to adjust this to a time that would be reasonable for those kinds of slides to be read. And then uh, if, you, if you don't have that, if you don't have anything without an element, do not worry about this. You, of course, can drop down. You can choose what you want it in. You can even go ultra high definition. Don't recommend that. For basic YouTubes, you could do 720. I'm going to do 1080, and I'm going to click Create Video. It's going to ask me, where do you want to save it? I'm just going to put it in the folder that I want to save. I'm going to call it Video Sample so I know to delete it. I'm going to hit Enter. And I can check down here, and now it is recording the video. And that is all you need to do. Once it's done recording, you'll be able to find it in the folder that you downloaded it to. Double click on that, it'll start playing. It'll start playing, and I'm not gonna play all the way through because I'll make a link available to you in the description, also probably somewhere in the video. You can go check it out. And with that said, that's all you need to do. You have created a vertical one minute video takes a bit of time, but I promise you it's a lot of fun and you will learn how to use PowerPoint pretty well. I hope this tutorial was valuable for you. Well, hey, that's it for this tutorial. I hope that you found it super useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Before you head out, though, I wanted to show you something. Are you ready for it? It is my cool t-shirt. I know you were wondering at the beginning, what is he wearing? And it is a, let me open that up here a little bit, a Yeti on a bicycle. Hopefully you can see that. If you like the Yeti, give me a thumbs up. If you found this tutorial helpful and you think that you might find future videos helpful, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss future updates. If you have an idea for a future video or want me to show you something, leave a comment. I will get to it and I promise you I will try to produce something. In fact, this video was inspired by a viewer who wanted to know how did I produce that vertical video that I posted to my YouTube shorts. So again, I don't know where you're at, but wherever you're at, I hope that you're having a great day and I look forward to seeing you watching the next video. Take care.